Et voila! There we are. My face is now lit up. You can see it in all its glory. And here we go. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. That's what it's called. Here we go. Got the uh, artistic PlayStation 5 reveal opener. Set the mood. Glorious. It did make me feel special to be part of the PS5 family, as it were. <laughs> Let's get on with the trailer. We won't do an Angry Joe and say, you know, we'll be talking over it because of monetization. No problem with this one. Can't afford it anyway. Don't apply. Both beautiful we can just enjoy it. Binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your late 1800s. So we go back in times. I've only ever seen one Harry Potter film all the way through. That was the go Goblet of Fire, I think it was. Yeah, the graphics, man! Look at this tasty shit! I'm led to understand that this is an RPG as well, which, man, I haven't played an RPG in a long time. It's not really my forte, but I do enjoy the odd one in my lifetime. And I'm very intrigued to see what kind of a wizard I would be. I've got a feeling which route I would take <laughs> these days. This just looks all intriguing, you know? It just looks like this! Flying, man. Some zombies, evil spirits. Look at that! This all looks so tasty. This looks basic. I always remember that little shot. That looks a bit basic. Gets me worried, that shot, but we won't go into that. Many mysteries and secrets to unlock. Many experiences to be had. Many interesting things to be seen. What form will it take indeed? When I saw that, I thought, I think I am going to go down that dark path, you know. I'm going to be loving it. I'm going to love being bad. But we'll see. The choices you make now yeah, man. Music's solid as well. Feels darker as well. I think that helps. That helps with me, definitely. Yeah, that's a great trailer. Man. Live the Unwritten. 2021. That's all we're given. That is a definite purchase from me. Alright, now we've got Black Ops Cold War. Official gameplay trailer. This does have me tied. Maybe re-watching this will set things straight. Let's watch the trailer. Gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. How long before we get arrived? See, for me, maybe I've got ADHD or something. I don't know, but I do struggle to follow single player campaigns. I like playing them. And I like the explosions and the vague story I can get, but it's hard for me to follow it because it's all going so fast, man. That's just me. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Yeah, man. Shoot that motherfucker. That's right. Priority is to ID a rush. Things go hot. Now, I will say this because that guy shooting that guy reminded me of this. I am disappointed in something from what I've heard so far, and that is the weapon sounds. When this guy's firing, I know like you could have suppressors or whatever, but I'm just not getting a good vibe so far. I really like the gun sounds on Modern Warfare. But uh yeah, we'll see what happens. Things can change again. Things can change. So we're on a secret mission of course. We're after someone. There's a truck. A rush might be in the truck. These guys are promptly eliminated. There they go. Two rounds each. 
Nice clean kills. That's gotta be a rock. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. Very porn star. Got a tash going on there and everything. A haircut. And here we are with Sniper Elite. Only toned down quite a lot. Look at that. So we've got the slide in action, we've got hit markers. Goodbye mate, see you later. Could have shot him right there but chooses to go in for the kill. This is what confuses me. <laughs> it looks a bit clunky. Ish. So, is that a feature now? Holding your breath. Instead, it's a slow motion thing. R60. Back in play. So, the thing about these Call of Duty games is that because of the engine and everything, it all looks clean, doesn't it? It's. It's clean chaos. It's clean and crisp chaos. Does that make sense? Love that. See you later. Yeah, gets on top of the plane. Of course. A lot of noise, a lot of clatter. A lot of uh, conveniences. <laughs> My face hasn't really changed. Could give a damn about pre-ordering, that's absolutely fine. Not a problem. I do not wish to pre-order. I probably will if I end up going for the game. I, I, I still have to think about this. All right, and now we've got Resident Evil Village, the second official trailer. Um, just gonna go ahead with this one. Let's go, because there's really not much to react to, let's be honest, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go for it. Here we go, here we go. Judging from the Likes and dislikes ratio, this is going down very well, as it should. It does look very intriguing. All clear. Don't move! Chris? What the hell? Take him away. The old classic knockout, the butt of the gun. Nice little shot. Surrounding area. In life and in death, we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Good shit. I like that shit. I like creepy old women. Most of them can pull it off. <laughs> Believe me, I should know. Horrible. Yeah. Good shit, though. Good shit. Effective. Quit being so paranoid. Some of the going on. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to become. Yeah, this took me aback. I mean, I mean, come on. It is like you know, Tim Burton shit. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. To me, that looks empty. like a wolfman. It's probably just Ethan, right? You're but determined to I'm find convinced someone turns into a wolfman. Free of mother's grasp Maybe you do. And vanished into the trees. Classic horror shit. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch. It is Ethan. Into the forest deep. It just makes me think. Here we go. Look at that. Mother Miranda.
It's just a local tale. Yeah, all right, Mia. <sighs> this bit drags on a bit. Let's, so, so this is the castle. Areas. So there's a castle area. Obviously a village area. And there's a shot coming up here. Look, what is this? Who is this? If it's just looking, window shop away. If it's just... Oh my god, is that a merchant? I've just realised that. Could that be a merchant? I'm probably wrong. Is that the merchant? Is that the... Is that another... Is that... So we're getting a fat merchant now. Is that what we're getting? We're getting a fat bastard. What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> if that's the merchant, whatever, it's cool, but... Yeah. He reminded me of Fat Man in Metal Gear Solid 2. He really did. When I first saw that trailer, I thought that's Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, yeah, again, not much to take away from this, apart from the fact that I've just realised that that could be the merchant. Maybe I'll get someone in the, some smart ass in the comments saying, actually, that's a brand new character. It's not the merchant. It's actually the husband of one of the bitches in the castle. Now, if you, excuse me now. I'm going to have to correct someone else on the internet. Goodbye. But anyway, that is the end of my thoughts, my reaction to the PS5 showcase. Um, let me know, by all means, what you guys think of the event, uh, what trailers tickled your testicles in the comments, as I said. And please, remember, I'll be around. I'll be around. Anyway, enough of the weird shit. Thank you very much for watching, guys. <laughs> my name is Grady, and I'll see you on the next video.